Hey there, Camera Obscura here, continuing Super Mario RPG. The Mega Smile Axe is no more. It's gotten its last golden shower. <laughs> Stop. Anyway, it's good. Great game, seriously, you couldn't last like 10 seconds. Holy shit. So hit that block. It's a magical beanstalk. And then you get to hit it again to climb it. Like, you don't just jump onto it. You actually have to hit the block. And it always struck me as odd that you had to go down that pipe just to get to that new area to hit a block to climb the beanstalk instead of... Wait, I want to look at it! Instead of the beanstalk just coming out of the pipe or something. How to climb vines? You need instructions for how to climb vines? It's like having instructions on how to open a jar or something. It's stuff like that. You know, it's like you get an iron and it says don't use while you're still wearing the shirt or something. <laughs> this is common sense stuff, man. Anyways. Ah, shit. These things can really mess you up. Oh my god, there's already five of them? And there's a special one on top of it. Well, that's the one I'm going for first. They have a move called Grinder. And it really hurts, man. And I can only imagine what it's going to feel like from a special enemy. This thing's got HP for days. Oh god, there it is. I only did one. Never mind. I remember that being a much tougher move. Maybe that's from the blue ones. Okay, never mind. Yeah, 166. Holy balls, man. Granted, it was to Peach. But still. But yeah, we'll see blue ones later, and they're a lot tougher. Um, You know what, Peach? You've had some fun in the sun here. We've not seen Mallow in a while. Let's bring Mallow into this. And we'll do some Thunderbolt action here, because, you know, electricity is good against flying types. But the birdie is stunned. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Yeah, let's roll with Mallow for a bit. It's been a long time since we've used him. We haven't used him since we found Bowser outside of Booster's Tower. So I think it's about time we give the little fluffy ball some action here. I want to grab this frog coin. There's, there's so much stuff that I need to take care of, though. I don't want to get too far into this because I need... Dude! I need to go to Balome's Temple again. We got the temple key. What?! Maybe I did need instructions on how to climb vines. What the hell, man? Like, I swear I was pressing up. Dude! Like, you can't jump! Oh my god! You can't jump and try and run at the same time, it seems. Okay, up. Alright, avoid that guy. You want to take this yellow one first. Because it gets you to a special item. A super secret special item. It's not super secret. But it is pretty special. So we'll activate that block, and this can get tricky. The red guy, you need to move, sir. I mean, I suppose I could just fight the damn thing. What? Ugh. I'm t I, 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 you know what? I am the kind of guy that would iron a shirt while they were still wearing it. It's just so convenient, man. Like, someone needs to invent a shirt that you can iron while you're wearing it, and it won't melt into your skin or whatever. <laughs> oh, boy. So there we go. They got the defense scarf. That's what we wanted. It's called the Rare Scarf in the original. Pretty good accessory. Boosts defense by quite a bit. And generally, I like giving that to Princess. I don't know if I'm going to use it now. And these guys are jerks. Only royalty can bathe. And we don't look royal. You're just dirty plebe. You know? Get out of our face. Stay looking homeless and stuff. Here we are. There, now here we are. It's Nimbus Land, and whoa, it's just a bunch of mallows running around. What the hell? Yeah, so, believe it or not, this is Mallow's hometown. And Valentina actually looks kind of cute here. I mean, still awkward looking. And her hair is a bird, so your argument is invalid. But, but, <laughs> her proportions seem a lot more proportionate compared to the original sprite. And fatty Dodo can't even get through the door. Although it's not Dodo, it's Prince Mallow. I'm sorry. I'm I'm skipping ahead here. <laughs> He's just like as he pops out the door. It's like you know pulling your thumb out of a bowling ball or something. But yeah, Prince Mallow. Look at him. He looks just like the rest of them. I mean, see, yeah, look and fit. <laughs> Dodo's like, are you, are you serious? Looking fit? I couldn't even get out the damn door. But anyways, it seems like Prince Mallow is asking Valentina to be his queen. So now she owns Nimbus Land. Yeah, so there we go. But something seems fishy, man. That can't be Prince Mallow. 
I mean, I've already said that it's Dodo. <laughs> He's got to squeeze back through the door. I love it. Oh, man. Yeah, there's a prince with the same name as you. That's crazy, man. And in a village where everyone looks just like you. I mean, just what are the odds, man? What are the odds? So here's an inn. I'll show this. Whatever. We got an inn. It's a special inn. Because maybe I'll get... Maybe I'll get the red essence. I don't know. Yes, I do want to use the dream cushion. It does look pretty weird, but I'm going to use it anyways. So if you use the dream cushion... I was hoping we'd actually get to, like, see a dream. Oh, no, we are in the dream, so there's Gaz. Just saying Gino can do it. But then sometimes you wake up and, and Toad's around, and he gives you a red essence. Or actually, I think he gives you the red essence in the dream. One of those two. I don't know, but we didn't get it this time. That's all that matters. So it's worth, it's worth a shot, because the red essence is pretty sweet. Makes you invincible for three turns. Very rare item. Say you have that, I'm looking for something, looking... I mean, I'm, you're, a, you're a shop, and I walked in. Of course I'm looking for something. You think I'm, like, drunk or something and just stumbled in? What the hell, man? But, yeah, say goodbye to the masher. It's finally outlived its usefulness. And Bowser got a weapon in Monstro Town, so he's kind of out of luck here. Actually, we'll get the armor, too, man. We want fluffy shirts, fluffy pants. Yeah, I'm still going to go with the work pants for Gino. And no new armor for Bowser. And honestly, I think the work pants are probably just the best for him anyways. So whatever, we'll talk to a little bit more of the townsfolk here. Why not? He's changed, but yes, I do believe that's him. This here is the house you want to go into. It's Garro. He used to make statues of King Nimbus. And I mean, here's a statue that looks just like Mallow. What the hell is this? Yeah, it's you! What the heck? This is crazy, man. It's King Nimbus. Oh, because we look just like him. You know, a young King Nimbus looks just like a Prince Mallow. Because he's basically a young King Nimbus. Get it? Like, oh, it's all coming together, man. Like, you're a prince, dude. And, like, he, can't, he cannot believe it. <laughs> he can't believe it. You don't want that guy leading your kingdom. He's such a wiener. <laughs> That's disrespectful. Mallow's actually pretty cool. I like Mallow. That was a mean thing to say. Gam, you're a jerk. So, of course, Mario playing charades. Dun-dun! You know, recounting the story of... what happened to Mallow. And, of course, getting raised by Frog Fuchsias. So there we go. And he's like, this is bullshit, man. I'm a prince. And they're taking over my castle. And he's gonna storm the castle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's so angry. The expressions they give to him are so adorable here. Oh, he can't just barge into the castle. His pants, the way he walks in his pants, it always looks like he took a massive dump. Like he just shit himself and he's trying to do that waddle. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, so wait, are we ready? Ready for what? I don't know. Actually, I do know. He's going to turn us into a statue to sneak us into the castle. So he's bronzing us. Which is something that I said I wanted done to me when I died. Like, that'd be cool. Just turn yourself into a bronze statue. And I thought about calling one of those kiosks at the mall. Like, where you take your baby shoes and stuff. But I figured they'd just hang up on me. If I asked how much it would cost. Because that's not really a normal thing. I mean, that totally would sound like a prank call. But I'm serious, I'm very curious to know what it would cost to bronze yourself. And would it even be possible? You know, or would it like eat away at your skin and you just have like this bronze, zombified looking thing? Some abomination. No way to memorialize yourself. But admit it, being bronzed would be pretty freaking cool. And I gotta say, the castle looks awesome in this remake here. Oh, man! It's like an actual laugh in the music. That's so cool. The remastered version of this is incredible. Yeah, I love it. It sounds like a laugh. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So Valentina, what is this ugly thing? Like, obviously she's gonna know that's not her nephew. 
So that lie's not going to work on her. So he's just saying it's a piece of art that he created just to do it. And apparently it's called In Search of Lost Brother now. In the original, it's A Plumber's Lament. So I don't know what, what required that change. But the description is fairly similar. A little bit different, a little variance there, but no big deal. And is it to your liking? It's spectacular. She loves it. She loves it. That's great. <laughs> he just, he like bounces. He walks like he's on the moon. You see that? That was pretty funny. We'll sit there like a roast. She's such a bitch. Man. But I mean, that's the whole point of her character. And she almost looks as good from behind as from the front. <laughs> and Dodo, what are you doing to the statue? He's... Oh, use your imagination. I'm not even going there. I'm not going to say it. I'll think it. And I'll make it known that you can tell what I'm thinking, but I'm not going to say it. Anyways, we got some rhythm-based thing coming up here. You know how those go. So we got a save point, but I'm not going to use it. Oh, shit. You try and sneak out, and it's like, oh, no! Did you display the statues properly? They're tucked like two doors down from anything. Like, who's ever just going to wander back there? They're basically in a closet that's behind another closet. Like, what the hell? Like, this room doesn't go anywhere. And the only way to get into it is from another room that really doesn't go anywhere. I, I gotta concentrate here. So, this can get tricky. You gotta jump at the right time. If you jump too early, Dodo gets suspicious. If you don't jump at all, you get pecked. And that's not good. Because obviously it's going to hurt Mario. There we go. You'll know you mess up if he runs out of the room. And Dodo's just like, what in the hell? It's like the moving cake from Chef Torty. Torty! <laughs> and The Apprentice. Alright. Oh boy. That's the one that's easiest to mess up there. And we're almost done. He's going to run out of the room. I don't want to screw it up here. Because if you screw up... If you screw up, you got to do it all over again. And I hope I didn't jump too early there. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. All right. So with that, if you win this, you get a feather. Which is pretty nice, because that's a plus 20 boost to your speed. But I'm probably not going to equip it. But speaking of equipping things, I'm going to equip Mallow. And I'll be right back. Uh-oh. It's absolutely exhausted. Who's exhausted? Who said that? Who's this? I didn't think there'd be other people here. So some of the, more of the birdies. And Dodo's job. He has to polish Valentini's statues every single day. And like, here's how I do it. And they do it basically the same way Dodo does it. But <laughs> Mario, he's just like, I can't take it anymore. And somehow all the bronze washes off. Yeah, do statues move? No, statues don't move. It's one of those high-tech or lifelike realistic ones. Yeah, we're just like an animatronic. I mean, come on now. So with that, we're now free to roam about the castle. But I'm going to take this opportunity to leave. Look how beautiful that is, though. That looks so good. So good. You used to work in the castle. You should see the way she hits the poor prince. What the hell? Maybe he likes it. I don't know. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that at all, man. What is this? Just more people? Do I know about the royal bus? No. No, I, I mean, I do, but I haven't figured it out in the game yet, so I'm going to say no. But I've played the game many, many times. So I do, but my characters in the game don't. This is the point I'm trying to make. You know, Gam, it doesn't matter. You don't need to explain what you do and do not know. So just get the hell out of here. So we gotta go to Balom's Temple and pick up that treasure, and then we'll continue the adventure. And we'll probably take on the castle next time, actually. So, and why? Again? Again? Like, just use the fast travel, man. 
Land's End. Because, I mean... Well, here's all we got to do, really. Because we're in the last... <laughs> can't even get off the damn screen. This is the last Shogun right here. So let's wait for him to go somewhere. You, I swear... I went back a screen because he wasn't... You got to get him out of the hole and then go in it. You can't... Would you quit running away from me, man? Ugh! Should just cut to the inside of the temple. Would you... Seriously, jump out at me, you dope. Good grief. Like, how many times do I have to walk right next to you? This is not where I want to be. Actually, no, it is. Never mind. I'm stupid. I really don't want to walk through all this, though, but who cares? Who cares? I hope you're having a great day. There we go. We can just fill the void with useless words. They're all useless, man. Especially when I'm saying them. <laughs> There we go, we finally arrived at Balom's Temple. Good grief, man. So we're gonna have to pay another 50 coins to get our fortune told. And now remember, last time we did what? Right, center, left? This time you wanna do right, left, center. And there, <laughs> I love the way the tongue drops down. If Balom didn't have four eyes, he'd be a lot more adorable. So there we go. Find some rare items, that's the message you wanna get. I just like doing the right, left, center, because I feel like you get the best stuff before that room. Like, you don't have to fight anything. You just get coins and, why does it have to freeze me just to open the gate? Just let me grab the coins, man. So what the hell? I want the coins. Uh, give me those coins, because then you get the money back from your wish. And that's all. These are all still claimed treasure chests, so you don't get any extra stuff from that. So hungry, I wish I had something to eat. Wait a second. That shouldn't be what it have said. What? I think I screwed this up, man. We're going back to the wish room. All right, let's try this again. I swear it's right, left, center. Can you hit it, please, Mario? Thank you. I don't know why that didn't work. That's bizarre, is all hell. Yeah, you'll find some rare items. I didn't find rare items, though. I found nothing. It's the weirdest thing. Okay. No, see, now we're back to this. Ah! It's just the money from your wish back. I wonder why it didn't take me to the right room. Ah! Okay, get the coins. Lots of coins. Unless, maybe it's changed, I mean, for all I know. But like, this should say like, I'm not accepting visitors. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Did I accidentally hit right, center, left again or something? I don't know, I really wasn't paying attention. Maybe that's what I did, because I was talking about that's what I did the first time through. But yeah, give him the key. And the, the golden balloon eats the key. And you just get all this swag. Max mushroom, royal syrup. It's like eight or nine frog coins and four flowers. Gotta love it, man. And with that, fast travel now. Remember to use your fast travels, Gam. Let's get back into Nimbus land. And we'll call it a day here, and we'll storm the castle next time. And I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.